an underhook is not a move that's controlled tied. Um, I want to keep developing this setup a little bit. Uh, chase my music. Um, I'm going to underhook, and this guy buries his head. All right, so this is the position. Now, I see you guys here all the time. He's blocking with his head in here, all right? Doesn't mean I give up. He's beating me on head position here, that's all. All right, I still have the inside position with my underhook. From here, he's not giving me much choice. I'm gonna snap, snap, front headlock here. So I'm keeping my underhook. I got a front headlock with my right hand. So I have two control ties here. I can choose which one I'm gonna use. I can pull it to the mat, go to the front headlock, second lock, pull here, pull the arm out. We go a little butt drag to the front headlock. Right now, we're gonna try to use that underhook. All right, so I'm still using that underhook. My goal is still the high clutch. Basically, I wanna transition from underhook to front headlock to underhook high clutch. All right, and this is where you guys start to get deadly. When it's not just one, one motion to a shot. It's, I go from, from underhook to front headlock, back to underhook to high crotch. This is easy to beat, I'll be honest with you guys. One setup, one shot, circle, head outside single. Okay, well that guy knows it's coming. The transition points are where I make some progress, where I start making some money, right here. I jam that underhook in, he's blocking me off. All right, from here I gotta feel this. I can't go underneath him from here. Snap. I'm in a good front headlock position. Notice my chest is covering his head. My chin's in the center of the back. I will circle. I will step back a little bit, get a little bit of space, and let that head come out here. So I'm letting the head come right back out. I back out just a little bit to let the head come up. I'm letting the head come up. He wants the head to come up. If it doesn't, I'll pull him down to the mat. All right? So I'm going to go from front headlock to high crotch. All right? I want you guys to have as minimal transition time as possible from when you snap to when you shoot, all right? But recognize the fact that you do have to let his head come out. Defensive guy, I want this. I want this. We got the underhook. This guy's got me on head position. Snap, front headlock. Now I'm going to high crotch. Just like where this thing was, so you can see, I'm going here. Let that head come out. High crotch. Let's go to that power lift. Power lift. Remember, we're going to step across the body this time instead of going to two legs. We're going to go back arm that one knee, pop our hips and drive. Underhook. He's buried. Snap front headlock. High crotch, circle back. Power lift. Power lift. I'm in the head outside single or high crotch. I'm sorry, high crotch. I'm going to take a step across his body. As I do that, my back arm goes up with knee. I pop my hips. I drive and repenetrate. This is about my hips, not my arm, all right? Getting all the way to his far foot, taking that step across the body, popping, driving, and repenetrating. I'm gonna go super slow on this process. Underhook, he's buried. Snap, front headlock, high crouch, into him, circle back, step. Back arm elbow deep, good solid position, all the way towards his far leg. I'm gonna drive that direction across his body. Pop and drive. One more time. Underhook. He's buried. Partner, give me this good reaction. You got an overhook. You're taking your hips back. Fine. Snap. High crotch. Into him. Circle back. Step. And drive. Beat that head. Beat his head position. Get a little bit of violence here. There's a little bit of violence here. When I go from here to my high punch. A little bit of violence. Step. Go step back arm. My back arm goes elbow deep. I'm still in my stance. My hips are going to pop. And drive. You got it? Let's do it. One, two, three. 